Renene Soda, Quien de Mas. I have 960,000 chips. And who's going to win? That's a stupid question. I'm going to win. Root for me. And welcome everybody out here to the Enjoy Punta del Este Poker Series. Justin Kelly alongside Ryan DePaulo calling the shots with you. We are here for the final table of the main events. 340 players began now down to only eight, including a few familiar faces and legends amongst the table. Ryan, how are you feeling? I'm loving this B-roll. Look at this beautiful city we're in. Skimboarding. I wish I brought my skimboard. Anyway, I'm great. This is a great structure. Exciting. They're playing for $70,000 US. We'll get to the payouts in a second. Yeah, 70000 bucks up top. And as you say, I mean, there is no shortage of sights to behold around here. Look at that, man. Beautiful harbor. And that right there is where the actual event is held right here. This is the casino itself. Casino hotel. Great food. Great spa, heated pool indoors. So welcome to the action. Let's get it started. I'm so excited. This is actually one of my favorite parts here in the tournament when players just dump their chips on the table. They're still stacking them up. Like everybody's just like, oh, it's this is real. This is game on time. Yeah, I'm pretty slow to unbag myself. You could see a lot of 5Ks. That looks like a cash game, but those are 5Ks. The reds, <laughs> the, uh, the blues are 25Ks. But either way, you'll have their chip stacks on screen as a cheat sheet. Now, you will notice, obviously, that the dealer has a little kind of uh, tablet beneath them. They do have a shot clock on each player as it goes around. You'll see those little time plaques, those little gold-rimmed and blue middle time plaques. Each player gets a certain amount of those. It looks like maybe six time plaques to use as they need, and I believe that gives them, what, 30 seconds each, something like that? Yeah, yeah, an additional 30 seconds. And if you auto... Well, let's see. We already got a hand here as they're still stacking. The button Renee opens an actual normal hand. He, he and for an actual normal size, min raise, 100K. <laughs> uh, I feel like you've played with already, Renee once or twice. Dude, sure. this is already a tough spot. What, he has uh, sevens in the big blind. And he yeah, jammed. Okay, I was thinking, yeah, yeah I mean, it's it's against, against Renee especially. It, it may be even scarier because he's more live to call with random stuff. But I think... Max pressure, fold equity, obviously, you know, it makes it, unless Renee has an, a huge hand, it makes it wait, just... Wait, what's, what's he saying? I want to hear when he says yeah, okay. random, annoying, obnoxious things. All right. I didn't mean to cut you off. That was no, really no, 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 it, it's fine. It, 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 it basically... Oh, he said I might just last one minute of the final table. Is he thinking about calling? No, I, I think he's just posturing. I think... Oh, he's wondering how much. How much do you, right, how much do you start with? Should give him a penalty for speaking English at the table. Even though they, they let us speak both all throughout the tournament, everyone's been... If I bust the first hand, my wife, Miss Fossa, is going to beat that beat me. She's Mexican-Irish, very violent. So I'm supposed to call here, but... No, no you're not. I'm afraid of her, not you. Did you say his wife is very mean? She beats the crap out of him. Wait, I don't know if that's pop. No, that's posturing. You know, he, he knows he knows he's not going to call it. He knows. I know, but for what? Renee is going to talk a lot, and I want to hear what he's saying, because it's interesting. I played with him a bunch of days throughout the tournament. He's he's uh, from Bargain Hunters on a and &E. He's working as, with America's Card Room. I'm, they don't even understand what he's saying half of the time. It's funny that he's going through the trouble to do all this. Yeah, I believe he owns Bargain Hunters, and uh, yeah, the show he's on is uh, Storage Wars. Oh, whatever. No, no. Shout-outs to both. Yeah, for sure. No, it's and it's uh, it's definitely entertaining, and, and he's, he's quite the character, him and his wife both. Speaking of which, his wife actually also made a deep run in this main and actually cashed as well, which I thought was really cool because it was her first larger cash buy-in tournament as opposed to just, like, you know, free charity stuff. Yeah, shout-outs to her. All right, Franco with the limp again. Our, I guess limping is becoming contagious at this table. It's a... Uh... More and more people are, are limping off these stack depths, but usually well, you don't see it off that well, that yeah, depth. That, okay, so what? So we're talking like 10, 11 bigs 11 here. bigs, yeah. Yeah, so king, queen off under the gun. I mean, I guess if you open and you get three bet, you just have to fold, or are we just getting it in? And, like, and I don't, yeah, no, you fold. You definitely fold. Oh my God, Renee just snap jams. Wow. From an, from an under the gun limp. That is a bold strategy. Uh, another shorty's all in there, and he is eliminated. Good game, Franco. We are down to seven. Franco S is gone. Rene, is he going to come with a limp? He's been limping a lot. Yeah, he's, he's been sure limping. Does. I think every hand he's played, basically, he's limped. 
uh, except for maybe one. Say six of clubs. Ooh, wow, Ooh. kings. Now this is gonna get weird if Renee thought he was potentially being trappy. Yeah, here we go. So it looks like Thiago raised and Renee snap called, I think. Yep. And that is three three eight actually out there. So only one club. Renee whiffing the board. Some backdoor club potential here. Six ten in the pot. Let's see how big Thiago comes with. Did you say one fifteen? Did you say one fifteen? Oh five fifty. Oh wow. Renee scooting the chair up, like posturing, like he's ready to uh, click back. Or again, I want to give Renee here. credit for just learning for later too, because he's like a live player who knows these live tricks, and, and it could be. I mean, he's not looking at his opponent; he's actually thinking about continuing. But um, he also is a live player with enough experience to be getting info for later as well if he knows what he's doing already. Oh, see right there. You see how intensely he focused, looked at him when he said I only had Yeah, ice. like sneaky. Yeah, Renee thinks I don't respect his game. Like from a mathematical standpoint, I do. But this stuff is really cool to me that I'm not good at. I'm too autistic. I love the camera right there focused on him behind his opponent. See, if he's thinking of jamming, there's the problem is... Look, it, it, Renee is eight ten behind. It's basically putting them all in. Yeah, it is. It is. There, there's no. So there's other no fold equity. That. Never mind. I don't know what I was thinking. About. All right, I'm gonna give it to you because I'm tired. But my instincts there should just put you all in. Well, it'd be impossible when the guy has you covered. But I, but that's fair. See, look, look at that. Okay, See. See, he got him to show his kings by doing that. That's the thing. Otherwise, he nev that guy never shows his cards if Renee doesn't do that. Ever. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. That'll do it. Alejandro, the sexy Alejandro, eliminated in seventh place. He takes home $10,950. Hopefully, whoever's coughing in the mic is with him and will go with him. <laughs> Take their disease. Congratulations, Alejandro. I know it's so disappointing when you wake up and go to bed three days for a deep run like this hour levels an $1,100 entry and that will do it for Fernando good game played well German B again I'm butchering his name but that's our boy three million chips he came in the day one of the lowly stacks congratulations Fernando Fernando good job again he's smi he has a smile 000. on his face yeah. good for him he, he's smiling taking up 13k for his efforts well, we're down to four and we are down to four wow, wow. Thiago the unknown came into the table as the chip leader leaves oh. us for 15.7 great run congratulations to him and one is gonna make the fold now leaving a little blind versus blind action and Vlad's gonna go with the ship right into Renee's oh, wow. ace 10 versus king 10 he's in domination nation if he can find the call and that wow. didn't take long at all let's go all right Vlad at risk needing a king Oh no, Vlad is not at risk. I'm sorry, Renee is at risk. If a king comes, Renee is done, but it's it's massive for either player. But this is the value of having the player covered. You can come back from three big blinds I'll have left. Needing a king and only a king. And the dealer's dealing very fast. Where's the wow. drama dealer? You must make them sweat more than this. <laughs> and that looks good to fade the world. Ace high and the, take yeah, him. the graphic is uh, wrong. Renee is not eliminated. Again, we like to keep you on your toes with those graphics here, guys. That's that's our main job in the commentary booth. I'll tell you how it really goes down. All right, so what do we got going on here? Top top here for Renee, looking pretty good. Middle pair over here for German B. Oh, and Vlad's all in, obviously, with with his absolute zero chips, right? Yeah. Oh, Vlad. Vlad the Impaler might be impaled, and he sure is, Vlad. I was seeing if he was going to go for any value, uh, Renee. Um, but just happy to check it down. Vlad, he was a great player, very friendly. I played with him. Congratulations. Again, I'm sure he's disappointed. 
Three guys left, 20k. I was one. gonna say for his, yeah, for his disappointment, he will be taking home at least, you know, 20,000 and some change. Rene will give fist bumps contingent on him winning. No, I don't. W winning or splitting pots? Winning or chopping pots? No, I, yeah, he just lost the pot and did it. So I think uh, he's played fine. It was interesting coming out with the limp only strategy, but a lot of these guys seem to be limping. And if that's the meta, you know, you got to give in to peer pressure sometimes. Some chaos is going on in the seniors event it sounds like there's on the side table breaking out over there there's a lot of old men you stole my prune juice <laughs> <laughs> wow Yo, i feel like somebody just threw a walker at someone i'm not even sure what's going on this could be the ladies event and they're all on testosterone we never know <laughs> Those are both going on today. We're not just being um, sexist and ages for no reason. It's yeah, warranted. They're going on in the same room across across the area. So Rene limps. German checks in the big, and the flop comes ace, queen, nine. Jack of diamonds. Maybe you get spicy, but, you know, Rene normally throughout the tournament, someone who likes to see a lot of flops with wild dog shit fucking hands. Oops, oops just did two curses in one sentence. But, uh, and then play post-flop. He's a post-flop live type of player. But obviously, correctly so, tightening up a bit here at a, at a final table, and now he's in the final three anyway. Sorry, Renee checks bad. the top pair. German goes for the bet, which I think is good with the uh, Jack of Diamonds, regardless of what I think. Renee agrees to the price. Renee required to hold his coffee cup while he's in the hand. I think he is. He's getting a lot of sips out of it, and German does blast again. I truly am trolling when I troll him, but I'm, his table talk I'm trying to actually learn from and take notes. Give me credit. Such a tempting card to bluff against most players. I'm nervous. I like him going for it, but Renee. See, and this this posturing that Renee is doing here, like he's getting up. Oh, can I get up? Talking all casually. He gets this guy kind of flustered and off his game, and then he bets and he snaps and he's got him. Talks a little shit after. I let you bet the whole way. Basically, you get to choose how much to lose. For me, it's free roll practice. You guys are muy excelente. Don't talk. I'm just check call, check call, check call. That I'm here is amazing. Like everybody's like amazed. I I, I respect the taunting and, and this. One week ago, I was like, I'm coming here, I'm gonna try poker, and now I'm here. Uh, Next week, I liked it until then. Poker. Okay. But, but you know what? But you know what I do like though. As I do like that he says, oh, guys, I just hey, check call, check call, check call. So now, if if he does have a draw or something like that, uh, and his, like he can make his opponents more likely to check behind, thinking that he's being trappy, and also pick up free cards, et cetera, et cetera. Still, still back to the headphones, man of war for Renee. Still making an attempt to communicate with no effort to do it in their language. No, 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 no. He, he just, that's why he's just talking to the dealer at this point. I think he's like, maybe you understand the best at this point. I don't know. So German on the button limps, queen 10 off, Rene, 9-8 suited, yeah, good check, there's no reason to raise, you want to take flop. Get some fun little hands here, yeah. oh, a little, little, little gutter here, a little gutter for the 10 ball for Rene, potentially some backdoor diamonds, obviously a gutter for German as well. Yeah. German B is what we call him, and yes, we do know that that's not actually how you pronounce his name, but he's our homeboy now, so that is our nickname for him. Feels like German should have a straight when the eight comes, but uh, he doesn't. He's missing a nine. See him, Renee. This is like Modi's comfortable. He just snap calls. Just snap check call here. Hoping to sl slow him down on the river, I imagine. 
and snap check on the river. Renee with the best hand, assuming he can hold on if German B pumps the gas one more time. It is scary to play with someone who just snap calls, snap checks, and then you really don't feel like you can bluff them. Um, I mean, in general, we probably probably hard to. I mean, we know his exact cards, so he might have. Yeah, we are going to say it. There we go. And again, I think that in German B's head, he was thinking about to be a 10 hand earlier where he was just going to get check called anyways all the way down. So it makes it really tough for him to bluff that river. Yeah, Oregon's just a guy who you don't know what he know, like. There was a hand I bluffed Renee with a four liner to straight out there from the big blind when everyone in the world folds. And he called like with third pair. Um, and that makes you not want to pull the trigger against them. One. With a spicy call. Oh, the blinds have increased now. Well, now I don't need to do the math for y'all. 100K. And they got 3.6 million, 3 million, 3.4 million. A7 deuce, as you can see. I don't even need to be saying these words. No part of it for Juan. Renee is... Uh, uh, about to have a heart attack. He, that is not from his music. He's on the verge of death. <laughs> He's jamming out. He is jam or that's his, that's his butt plug RFID reader. Oh my god. <laughs> oh wow. This tournament just leveled up. Look at it. It's going. It's it. Casey put it on full mode. <laughs> There's some things I just can't unpicture now that you got that because he's really just jamming out. Is the stream uh, lagging like we are now? I, uh, I, I told him to look at it. Oh, uh, good. No, I mean, I don't want to comment on something that they're not seeing. No, I gotcha. But we are all seeing that Renee has his pot locked up. Eight and a half bigs in the middle. $70,000 at stake up top. And this is why you play a passive you can induce someone to try to take a stab which Juan is debating and he does go for it looks like maybe 450 500 into 850 I don't think he's ever targeting an ace but Oh, I got it right. 450. And Renee's misdirection. Like, no, nobody nobody just checks back on that board. Well, that you guys think. Definitely would throw me off. It throws these players off. All right. We don't know that, the that cards. Quickly. <laughs> we don't know nothing. I know. I'm not giving a whole fantasy. So, nobody can really say what's going on here other than German just put in some chips. And Renee. The anal bead now turned off. Still listening to Whitney Houston, though. Correct. Correcto. He's going to come along. It's king high board. All right. King five, four deuce. We got some information. Renee as well. We got some information on him. Yeah. Looking with top pair here. Button versus small blind. So small blind could have some sets here. He could have some ace, ace wheel aces that don't three bet like suited ace wheels. He could have a lot of things. He three bet pre flop after Renee limped. So not three bet. I'm sorry. He raised. Renee limped the button. German raised. Renee called. Renee has left the table. Renee does this a lot. He just kind of gets up in the middle of a hand. Still talking about the last hand. 1.4 in the middle. German thinking. I don't remember what I had. He could have a lot of wheel aces. He could have a lot of pairs under a king. He could have. He could have a lot of different things. I love the action tracker guy in the back behind him with the laptop. It's just like he's got on some nice, like, cool black stunner shade sunglasses. Wait, wait, wait! Renee just snap jammed. Oh, oh my wow. god! Oh my god! 
Renee just snap jammed. This is how, this is the Renee I played with. This is, look, my God. Oh my God, what if German just has it? I mean, he didn't snap call, so he's probably gonna be good. Yeah, wow, wow. I mean, what if German just has like Ace King and just like I call? Wow. In the hand where we didn't get to see what German had. But anyway, we go to the flop. A6 deuce. All three kings still live for Rene, but he's going to need one of them, that's for sure. Or Hark. I mean, or he can just blow one off this and rep the ace. Certainly can blow one. Off this. Off. <laughs> this. Hand. This. <laughs> Certainly in his arsenal to blow on off the hand seen him blow guys throughout this series off their equity many times <laughs> I was wondering when you were going to crack <laughs> Oh, man. So, Renee, see, look. This is what he's doing. Juan calls. Juan's not having it. That's, that's, you know, a big ace. This is this is getting scary for Juan. Renee, and then Renee, when he's bluffing, he just, like, blasts. Oh, look nah, at him. He's blasting hard. And immediately acting. It's so scary. This is the most horrible time to do it just from a card state. You have now some equity. It just, it just, right. and you're just not, you're just in an awkward spot if you're one here. Yeah, this is brutal. You but... got hit with this sick check raise, and now you, and you're just like this. I mean, what does Renee think he's bluffing him off? Like, like oh, only wow. exactly a hand like this. Oh wow! And he is stacking chips. Is he gonna continue with this here? Because you know Renee is gonna go max pressure on the river. You think Renee goes for it all on the river? I don't know if Juan calls this. I mean, this is... This is I don't think he does either. That's what I mean. Yeah, yeah. If, if he did, though. Scary. I mean, if yo. he did, does Renee have that third barrel under the belt? No, no. No, Renee would give up. He, he said no. Oh, no clubs. So, Renee... Is he going to show him the king or the nine? What do you think? The, the nine. He doesn't... Is this the first time he's going to realize the guy doesn't speak English? Yeah, I don't want... I don't remember. Oh, he showed the nine. He showed the nine. Call. Like ninja. All right, now you're going to tell me what the average So he does, in fact, blow him Juan. off the hand. Juan with the ace on the button raises. Rene before didn't even open jack 10 in a spot. I thought he ought to, but that was in a different situation. He's definitely in his element now. Obviously, winning pots, he's comfortable, but playing a little more deep. Having the chip lead is definitely suits his game more. He flats Jack Ten from the small blind. Onward into the heart of the battle. Yet we fought on. And a piece for both, but a way bigger piece for Renee with top two pair, bottom pair for one. Renee was still the best of it. Sounds good. And was that? Do I feel like I heard Renee say all that? I didn't hear that. Did I hear that? I don't know. I don't think so. Oh, he did. Oh he gosh. did. He snapped check jammed. Now, obviously, this is going to work for him here. It worked for him before. Well, work here is not. It Work is like this is... No, no, yeah. I, I know, but okay. So, and then before we have the mystery, but what I'm saying is, if his opponents get used to that, they can lay a huge trap for him. But working is like no, no, no. Well, like getting like getting a bluff through or something. Like I know I get that right, but like when I say I just meant like take down the pot. But with that being said, if his opponents see that he keeps doing that then they could easily with a huge hand just trap him and just get him to snap rip his whole stack all right german with a real hand here on the button with uh less than 10 bigs probably just gonna go with the jammy poo 
Maybe he could come with Limp. He could even come with Minrays, but I reckon Jam will be the option. Don't do it. You like to hear that, actually. Yeah, right. Oh, the call is set in the trap, the old German B. I wonder if uh, if Rene had looked at his hand or not. We didn't get to see, but German may have seen. I knew this was going to happen. That's a great play out yep. of German. And once Rene says, don't do it. Yep. And that's exactly what we were talking about earlier, though. I mean, kind of with him check, check jamming, but... Yeah, anyway, set the trap. German set so, the trap. So, he's he got wanted. a fade of four here, man. He's got a fade of four here. Well, I believe something was knocked piece. over. <laughs> oh, I think he backed up and his, his uh, like, side table. Well, he's got over. a fade of four, or we're down to two. Three outs. It's a sweat if you're German. King Ooh, in the window. Oh, and now oh, he has wow. more outs than the four. Oh, wow. Instead of three, he now has four outs. All right, he's got a fade of three one time to stay in this, or we are down to two. And he'll take the courtesy our double. Our boy German B doubles up. I wonder if he were to have jammed, if if Renee would have called. Um, I, I'm not sure. Yeah, that's a good question. I don't know if he would have either. Yeah, like we talked about. So that, that adds. So okay, so let's talk about the button. Annie adds several dynamics. Obviously, three-handed here it adds a very interesting dynamic. And then we talked about how if there's a dead button, the pot is actually less, so it adds a dynamic there. Any other spots where that specifically adds like an extra element? I mean, I know, I guess you could say technically every hand, right? Because there's like, if you're on the button now, even throughout the tournament, even when you're nine handed or eight handed, whatever. Eh, no, it just slows things down a little bit because you have to collect from a third player, yeah. which is annoying, which is why the big blind ante is nicer. And big blind ante ensures that the pot always has an ante in it. That, yeah. The dead button thing is kind of, uh, really really changes how you're supposed to play pre-flop um no ante in there and all the charts that i know and most tournament pl players are aware of include the ante and there's much more to fight for pre-flop yeah it makes sense um the, the way it changes here and at the final table when you get short <laughs> he says push your fault all in all out of the call yeah what do you have Whoa! What does Renee have? We have King Jack versus, oh, Ace Queen. Oh my God, so a King or a Jack, slow down, Dior. Oh my God, a King or a Jack, and it's round to two. That's it, oh, oh wow. my God. Wow. That's it, Renee. Renee taking it down there, heads up. Renee and our boy, German B. Wow. Heads up, Jesus. That was too fast, that blindsided so fast. by Renee. Blindsided by the Storage Wars. Congratulations, though. Yeah, taking home so right here. 31,000 and some change for his troubles. Yeah, Renee just looks at him and says, you got to push your full. What are you doing? He pushes snap calls. Like, okay. Dude, that was a good good tournament out of him, Juan. He was a good player. I played with him a, a lot in my day two table. Like I said, hour-long levels. And uh, he, 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 I got in the mix with him a bunch, and he's very good player. Um, played well. The, the top three you have to be happy with. I was saying earlier, every elimination, yeah. you're, you're bittersweet. 31x you're buying is a great day. He did what he could. And that's going to solidify another 20k pay jump for our remaining two. Basically playing heads up now for an additional 20k. First place takes seventy thousand dollars. Yeah. And for those of you asking in the chat, guys, first place is seventy thousand dollars up top. But right now you're guaranteed 49 and some change. So still playing for basically an additional 21 grand. Sorry, that's by far the most fucking relevant. What's at stake? Why do we care? What are they playing for? How neglectful of the commentators to answer that? That's why I didn't answer that. Oh, here comes. Oh, you could watch him do it live. Very good poker player, my opponent. But we down the final two. Second price is fifty thousand dollars. First price is seventy thousand dollars. So we're gonna battle it out, and I'm about to get yelled at for a trophy. I bust. So I'm playing and doing the video, but go to America's card room, Brazil, Latin America, Cody. I'm so nervous right now. Dude, look at this guy. He's like, dude, what? Pass? Uh, no, we don't want to pass. <laughs> um, Sorry, that's fine. Um, that is amazing. He's just like, is he allowed to do this? I would have, like, enforced English only at the, I mean, Spanish yeah, only yeah. at the table hours ago. Sorry, guys. So you gotta make a video. 
Oh, Renee. Sorry, you know how it is being a, a reality TV star. Yep, yep. <laughs> we know what neither player has. But we know they both earn their seats here. And they also both have two pair. And it's over. All the things. And then how many, what's your average bullets into the Venom, Ryan? 3.2. Nice. Over four starting eight. <laughs> and I run out of my allotment for the year by the first one usually. That's actually only like a third of the bullets Chris Moneymaker fires into it. So get, get in there, guys, if you like chunky prize pools for sure. Another battle of great hands in this uh, board. Classic. With the Renee, the better of it. The last hand is so big, you know, like uh, now Renee with two pair. It's sure. like you if you're in German spot, it's like how do you range Renee? Know, it's so yeah. it's so it's so difficult to play against. Even though like, it feels like it should be easy, it's not. Looks like he is gonna go for it here. And bad news against Renee's five six here. He's, Renee's not going anywhere. So what type of cards would we go for it again on the river? A king? Uh, eh. I don't think. I don't imagine this would be one, but. Four eighty in the middle, like three to one stack to pot ratio. Oh, wow! And he swings for a big old stack of blue, five hundred k. Renee with a stand up stare down. And the mouth covering. Oh, oh. Well, that's going to pretty much cinch it up for German. Better get it in later. I've seen worse calls if he had called it off. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I was like, you've seen worse calls than Is he just leaving? <laughs> Renee has left. Renee's actually just going to blind out for a little while. Go take another shower. Is he singing like Sweet Liberty? What is he I don't know if his whistling's very in tune, but all right. Well, for sure, jam and basically auto call with anything for four bigs. Okay. Yeah, call with any two. Can he all spike right. a king or a deuce? Ace five suited for German. King or a deuce? No ace five. Thirty-three percent could win it. Ooh, spade in the window. King, King and spades. Oh, wow. Please go slow, dealer. This is a sweat. It's 50 50 now. <laughs> oh, God. For the win. Oh, God. A five. Even more outs. The man needs a spade, a ace of five. Wow, and that's Not it. Renee. It. Renee against wow. all odds. 340 people entered. Wow. People would have laid him 18,000 to one. Amazing. Wow. No, he really did play well in his unorthodox style. Congratulations to oh, German B. Yeah, who played Ger the, both yeah. of these guys played great at the final table. Crazy sick tournament. Congratulations, Renee. So German B leaving with 49,000 and some change. Renee, our champion here at the Punta del Este main event for $70,455. Well played. I need to not stop studying. I need to learn live. I need to, I need to have this guy mentioned me. congratulations to Renee storage dude. lockers he really he really put everyone in tough spots once you got chips played well he played the final table well so did so did German B with the hero call to even get him in the spot getting it done and look at that trophy now that is something TSA will flag you for and pull right out of your bag right I'll tell you that all day oh dude the coveted winners pick with the trophy let's go that's a man who knows how to make a YouTube thumbnail with like the mouth open. Uh... <laughs> the main event. He's had such a good series too. This was the first time you played here in Uruguay, am I right? Yes. Uh, would you come back? I mean, you just won the main event. I, I love it. So, I mean, Uruguay, the people are super nice. The players are super nice. The staff is nice. I love the food. I love the weather. So I can't wait to come back to the next one. Um, you were talking all the week about kings getting cracked. What happened at the final hand? Uh, well, I had King Deuce, so I didn't have Kings, but I had Kings twice here, and I way overplayed them. I went all in every time because as soon as I get Kings, I get scared on this table. So I had Kings cracked in two tournaments at this table. So when I got Kings, it was all in. <laughs> okay, that's awesome. Anyone you want to say hi? I mean, dedicate this award to this 
this trophy to? Yeah, so this goes to my America's Cardroom family, to the Bargain Hunters family, the storage was Ken Damas, my lovely wife, uh, Juan and Phil, and everybody in the ACR, Cody Gopoka, which has been writing crazy stories about me and covering it. So everybody has been supporting me, and then most of all, my daughter back at home, because she has homecoming today for the first time. It's her first date. And she let me come to Uruguay and play. So I miss her. I love you. And I see you soon. And good luck. Don't kiss the boy. No. <laughs> That's it. Oh All right. Thank you. And there it is, guys. Renee Nesota, our champion at $70,000. Everybody else with a great showing and a good amount of money for their effort. Great structure. Great tournament out here at Punta del Este. Make sure you go ahead and play these satellites next time they run on America's Card Room. And you could be out here at this final table with them. This is Justin Kelly along with Ryan DePaulo signing off. You guys are all fantastic. Have a good one, and we'll see you soon. Some of them suck. <laughs>